Let's make plant-based butter pecan ice cream and coffee ice cream. Welcome back to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill and today we're making more ice cream because our last show did so well. We made chocolate and strawberry, but now we're on to some more complex flavors. So today we're gonna make butter pecan and coffee. So I'm doing butter pecan because that's my mom's absolute favorite. Uh, it never really was my favorite ice cream as a kid because it was just so sweet. But once I made this, it is so amazing. It's my new favorite. So that's what we're going to make right now. We've got one banana, pretty ripe, 10 deglet dates, one teaspoon of nutrition, nutritional yeast. Don't worry. It will make it taste good. One teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. The same there. It's just magic. One teaspoon of vanilla. And then one fourth of a cup. This is a half a cup. We're going to use a fourth of a cup of toasted pecans and we're going to leave the other fourth of, cup of a cup for the mix in at the end. And this is just going to make it really rich and creamy. And then one cup of unsweetened soy milk, or you can use whatever plant milk you like, but I would stress that it's a unsweetened plant milk. Now we're just gonna blend this until those dates are completely pulverized. All right. And we're making the ice cream in the Ninja Creamy. So we're gonna pour these in the container. And then we're gonna put it in the freezer and it has to freeze for 24 hours. Okay, now on to the coffee ice cream. So it's one banana, same, you want it to be pretty ripe. One tablespoon of cashews, and you can use um, almond butter or peanut butter in place of the cashews. Five deglet dates two teaspoons of coffee beans, the whole bean, because they're gonna get chopped up, but you're, it's just gonna give you a little hint of something crunchy in there. One teaspoon of vanilla, and one cup of unsweetened soy milk. How simple is that? Just a few ingredients, and you aren't gonna believe the flavor with that few ingredients. All right, so we're gonna blend this up till it's really creamy and put it in our container. Okay. So I'm gonna put both of these containers into the freezer and then I'm gonna get out my creamy machine and I'll get out the two cups that I made yesterday so that we can have them today. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of free printable recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook series are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting membership community. So if you love our recipes, I invite you to join us on our mission to make plant-based cooking easy and follow the link in the description to become a supporting member today. Okay, let's get back to the show. All right, we're gonna make the butter pecan one because that's my favorite. So you slip it down into this container and you gotta make sure that it clicks down in there so it gets down low enough. Put the lid on and we put it in the machine, twist it to the right till it clicks. And then we're gonna use the light ice cream because it's a low fat type of ice cream. You need to use the light ice cream setting. Okay, so that was one spin. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. See how it's still just a little bit crumbly looking? So we're gonna do one more spin. We're gonna put it on re-spin to get it really nice and creamy. And that's because it's a low-fat ice cream also. So, we're just gonna go on re-spin. Okay, 
So now you can see this is kind of what we're looking for. You can see how it's getting really nice and creamy. But now for the mix-in. So that one quarter cup of pecans that were left, I'm just going to stick them in there. Put your lid back on. And then there's a setting here that says mix-in. So you just push that button. There's no denying the plant-based diet is a nutrient powerhouse, but did you know there are a handful of hard-to-get nutrients even well-crafted diets are often lacking? The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why my daily health routine includes Complement Essential. Complement Essential contains the eight critical nutrients lacking from most plant-based diets in dosages optimized specifically for us. Plus, Complement is completely transparent about ingredient sourcing and third-party testing, publishing the results directly on their website. As a special discount for our viewers, just use code PLANTBASEDEASY at checkout to save 15% off of your order. All right, it is done. Woohoo! Look at that. Mmm. All right, I'm not going to spin the coffee one tonight. We're just going to do this because you've already seen how that was done. I'm going to grab a bowl and a spoon and I'll meet you at the table for a taste. Here we go. This is my favorite part of the show, the tasting part. Oh my goodness. I'm salivating because I know this tastes so good. Mmm. <laughs> All of those good things in my brain are happening right now. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. I can't wait for you to try it. Come on back next week for another great recipe.